Hey guys, so today I'm back with my favourite Christmas gift guide. This is second in my Christmas gift guide series this year. I've already put up my beauty gifts. If you haven't already seen that, I will link it below. And there are gifts for him and stocking fillers coming up next week, which I'm filming with Mike. But today I'm talking about my favourite gifts for her. So whether it is your friend, your girlfriend, your wife, your mum, your sister, whatever. Um, lots of girly, gorgeous things in this video. Also a shout out to my Christmas jumper, which actually says Dashend through the snow under here, which you can't see, but how cool is this sparkly sausage dog with the Christmas hat on? This is actually from Tesco. So many of you have tweeted me this um, and said that I need to buy it. So I did buy it. I actually bought it in a ginormous size because obviously I have a big baby bump at the moment, but I love it and it's so soft and it was 16 pounds. New favorite Christmas jumper right here. Anyway, today I'm running through my top 10 gifts for her, varying from a, just over 20 pounds to gosh, 200 pounds plus. Also worth mentioning, now I'm giving away some of the most special gifts in this video over on my Instagram. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning anything from this video, then head over to my Instagram, which is at Flood Force, and check out my giveaways. I always love doing like Christmas giveaways around my Christmas gift guides because I love being able to send you guys Christmas gifts. I love Christmas and I love buying presents and everything. So these videos are genuinely like my favorite ones to make every year. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into it with the snuggliest PJs in the world. These are not sexy ones at all, but they are super, super cozy. Um, I picked out these PJs from Debenhams. I think they are possibly the cutest thing ever. They're like teddy bear pajamas, but they are so soft. It's a set that comes with an eye mask, which is literally a teddy bear eye mask. Seriously, this material is so soft as well. And then the top is the coziest. It's like a fluffy, like lightweight jumper, but it is so, so soft, gorgeous, like, pale grey, super super, I just want to put it on right now. Um, and then the bottoms are a little bit more serious. They're like really nice kind of flannel, um, pale grey with a little bit of silver running through them. Super nice. I love this set. It was £32, so not like super affordable but not going to break the bank either and I just think it'd be a really nice gift. Something cosy and warm for Christmas. Love those. And then also on the kind of smaller gift side of things, I also really, really loved this um, brush holder, which is from Olive Bonus. And I've got a couple of things from Olive Bonus in this gift guide and also in the stocking filler one as well. I just thought this was really cute. It's a marble, a white marble base with a gold top and you just put brushes in there. And I just thought this would look really, really nice on your dressing table. It's not the most kind of affordable thing in the world, it's 24 pounds, but if you know somebody who is like a beauty addict and really likes kind of having a nice kind of display on the dressing table, then I think this would be a really lovely gift. And something that's also good for like the person who has everything. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're not sure what to buy them, um, I feel like this would be a good option. Another thing that is kind of, it's on like the random side of things, but I just saw this and I really, really liked it, was this set of pom-pom lights. Um, I actually picked this up in Selfridges and you basically get orange and pink um, pom-poms and then it's like fairy lights. I mean, I'm fully aware that this is slightly like obscure as a gift, but I would really like this if I got this. I'd love to put it like round my like dressing table mirror or like round the back of the bed here going on. Maybe I will use it in the back of my videos. I really like it. So super colorful, cute little gift. And then moving on to like the winter warmer gifts. I love scarves and hats and all those kind of gifts around Christmas. And the, the hat that I found this year, again, is from Olive Bonus. And this was 22 pounds. So it's not, again, not the cheapest, but I just absolutely love it. I think it's super cute. It's this little metallic black beanie with rose gold. This is probably because I'm gonna have to come right down to show you. But I really, really like this hat. I'm actually gonna take it off because now, now my hair's gonna be messed up, stupid idea. But it's basically like um, painted black material with like coppery rose gold. And then it's got a fluffy pom-pom on the top. I just thought it was really cute, really festive. Love that. And then I've got three scarves to show you. I'm counting these as two gifts because two of them are very similar, but I wanted to show you two of the different colorways. Again, these ones are from Oliver Bonus and I absolutely love these. I just think they're so nice and I feel like they're quite um, ageless as well. So it's something that, you know, I think my grandma would like equally. I would like, my mum would probably like it, my sister would probably like it. Um, they're these kind of watercolor scarves they're made out of modal fabrics. It's super soft. If you guys have any modal scarves already, they're literally like the softest 
um, scarves. They're quite thin, but they're still quite warm at the same time. And I just think they're so pretty. Like once you drape them round, I just think they look so nice. This is the bluer version. They're 28 pounds each. I just think they're really nice. I like these a lot. And then I've got a more pink one as well, which looks like this, but they have tons of them. They have less colorful ones as well. But yeah, so they're from Oliver Bonus. And then I couldn't do this gift guide without including this scarf because I have had so many compliments on this scarf since I've owned it. This is actually my personal one, it's from Zara. Um, it was around 18 pounds, I believe, and I put it in a haul video the other day. So many people commented on it, and I've had it in a couple of Instagram posts, and people are like, oh my God, where did you get your scarf from? People in real life are like, oh my God, where did you get your scarf from? It's pink and red and black and beige check. Um, but it's just so colorful and so nice. It looks really nice with like a plain, camel coat or a black coat i just absolutely love it super warm not expensive and i just think it's a really nice gift for someone who likes a bit of color so moving on to the more kind of luxury side of things um maybe more kind of christmas gifts that you buy for somebody special who you're spending a little bit more money on um the first thing i wanted to show you this year are a couple of my top picks from olivia burton i'm including them as one gift because they're all from one brand but i feel like Olivia Burton is such a good kind of staple gifting brand because the watches are so beautiful but if you don't know they actually do jewellery as well and they do really nice jewellery. A lot of the jewellery I wear a lot of the time like this not bangle is from them. Um, there's a couple of watches from their new collection that I just think are absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be giving one of these away as well as a voucher for buying Christmas gifts on my Instagram so make sure you head over to that. But these are the watches that I'm talking about. They look so pretty. They're one of their new designs so they basically have like this gorgeous kind of slightly off-white, slightly metallic background with kind of an illustrated flower detail that's in rose gold as well as kind of in the background of the watch. Kind of hard to describe, but I'm going to insert some close-ups so you guys can see. But they do this watch with a rose gold like metal strap or a leather strap and I think they're just both so beautiful. I just think you can't really go wrong with an Olivia Burton watch for Christmas. Like so many of my friends have them and absolutely love them. I've got a couple of them and wear them all the time. They're so nice. Um, so they're my two kind of top picks in terms of the designs for Christmas. But then jewellery wise, if you don't want to spend that much money, also talking about the packaging, like the packaging is super nice. And you get this packaging regardless of how like expensive the item is. So what I'm about to show you is about £40. So it's not going to be like a super, super, super luxury present. But the packaging still looks really nice. So all the jewellery comes in like this little velvet pouch as well, which I think is such a nice detail. And my favourite pieces at the moment are these little bee earrings. I actually have the gold ones and the rose gold ones to show you because I think they're both so pretty. They do them in silver as well, I think. But they're £40, like I said, so not as expensive as buying a watch, but I just think super cute. I'm going to insert a close-up because there's no way you'll be able to see them because they're teeny tiny little bees. But they're so pretty and I just think they'll make lovely, lovely gifts. The other thing on the jewellery front that I'm obsessed with this year um, is from one of my favourite jewellery brands that I wear all the time, Monica Vinita. have a little bag here. Um, and you guys might know that I wear Monica Vinita signature bangles a lot. I have them like the three colours in the slim bangles. And this year they've just launched the signature rings. So they're basically exactly the same design with the flat top, but they've launched them in ring versions and they're just so pretty. And the reason why I love the bangles is that they're perfect for like mix and match. So you can kind of pick your favorites, stack them up, wear them alone, wear them like five deep, whatever you want to do. But I just think the rings are so good and they're actually a really, really good price point. So they start at 55 pounds, I believe, and then go all the way up. So you can get them with like the slim ones with plain silver, which is the most affordable. And then you can get um, rose gold, gold, and then they do the medium size and then they do a large size, but they also do all of them with diamonds as well. So I've actually borrowed um, an, a massive selection of these to show you. And I'm gonna insert a close up so you guys can see just how many like different options you have. Like obviously you wouldn't be able to fit all of these ones on your finger, um, unless you have exceptionally long fingers. Um, but you can just see like you can pick and mix. Like if you only wear silver, if you only wear gold, if you're buying somebody who you know like loves rose gold, you can just mix and match. I love the little, like the slim, slim ones. I think they're so pretty. 
and I'm gonna be giving away as well a set of these, like a stack of these and a shopping voucher for the Monica Vinader website on my Instagram. So make sure you head over there and check that out. But I just think these are such a good addition to their lineup. I've been wearing Monica Vinader for years as well. Um, it's one of my favorite jewelry brands in terms of being affordable, but still really, really good quality. And I think they've absolutely nailed it with these rings. I love them. And then my last two gifts are both actually from Dior. And I've never included a gift from Dior before in a Christmas gift guide. But both of these, I actually went in and intended to get one thing, which is what I'm gonna show you now. But then I spotted something else, and I was like, you know what, that would make such a good addition to the gift guide. So um, I'm including both of them, and I'm gonna be giving both of them away. So the first one is absolutely gorgeous. For a start, if you buy a gift from Dior, the packaging is obviously going to be absolutely stunning. They package everything beautifully. But the first thing I picked is one of their little twill scarves. So if you guys aren't familiar with these scarves, they, they can seem a little ridiculous, but they actually have on like multiple, multiple uses. They're the same as the Hermes twillies. Um, but I love the Dior designs. I think Dior actually designs them better than Hermes, um, if I'm being honest. The packaging is super adorable. They come in this little round pot that's see-through on the top, so you can see it when it's um, being stored in here and you're not using it, you can see like which color it is if you've got more than one or whatever. Um, but the one that I chose for Christmas is this gorgeous, gorgeous red one, and it's covered in stars, and it's like one side is shooting stars, and then the other side is phases of the moon, and I just think this is so cute. Like I said before, these are, they can seem a little ridiculous. They're 150 pounds for a very small silk scarf, but they do have so many uses. And if you are looking to buy some something kind of high-end luxury for somebody, I think it's a really good kind of price point that it's not like crazy, crazy expensive, even though you're not getting a huge amount for your money. Basically, you can wear them around your wrist as a bracelet, and I'm just kind of like doing that as an example. You can tie it in a bow as a bracelet. You can wear them around your head. You can wear them around your neck as a scarf, obviously. You can tie them around a chain of a chain bag. You can tie them around a bag in a bow shape, like literally whatever you want to do with them. You can do loads of different things with them, and they're so pretty. I just think it's such a gorgeous luxury gift, which I would personally love to get under the Christmas tree. So that is my first dual gift. And then the other thing is a little wallet. Now, last year I included a Chanel card holder, which I have to say, in terms of things to receive as a gift, is pretty hard to beat, but I was lucky enough to receive um, this wallet in a different color in February this year. And quite honestly, I have not stopped using it. I've used it consistently as my wallet every single day, and I, never knew that I would want it. Like I never would have chosen it, but it is honestly the most useful little card holder slash wallet ever. And I'll show you why. So it comes in the gorgeous dual packaging of course, and they wrap everything up in beautiful tissue. But this is what the actual wallet looks like. And the one that I've gone for and that I'm giving away is the gold one. It's the Lady Dior. Um, it's almost like an accordion card holder. So I have the black version of this, and when I saw this color, I was like, I have to get that for the gift guide, because I just think it's so special. It's like a matte kind of crinkled leather, and it's in this beautiful like champagne gold color. They do have these little charms on the side, um, which when I first got mine, I have to say, I actually didn't really like love this, but actually I left it on. You can take them off if you like. I left it on, I actually really like it. And it's quite good, because if you do have like a clip on your keys or whatever, you can actually clip this onto your keys. The reason why I think this is so good and better than a lot of card holders out there is that it opens so wide as well. So you have five compartments in here and it opens up literally like an accordion and you can fit probably two or three cards in each one. So I personally put like my three, I have three different like payment cards. I'll put them in the front and then I have another one which I use for like my ID and like store cards and then I put my receipts at the back. And it honestly fits so much so it goes really compact and slim when you don't have a lot in it. But then if you want to fill it up, you can like fit so much in it. And it's honestly one of the most useful little wallets. They retail for 220 pounds. So as I said before, like it's Dior, it's not gonna be super affordable, but I think that's a really good price point for something so beautiful, so beautifully packaged. It comes in like a lovely like little dust bag and everything inside um, and all the like folded tissue paper and everything. So gorgeous and I just think who wouldn't want to get a little special something from Dior under Christmas tree? And this color is insane. I think they do this in the bags and the wallets this year as well. And I just think it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that is my like extra special gift this year. 
I'm also giving away some of the more special prizes over on my Instagram, as I mentioned, plus a few extra treats like vouchers and things as well. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning those, then head over to my Instagram. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it has helped you if you're looking to buy something for your friends or if you're looking for things that you might want to ask for for Christmas or if you're buying for your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. Whatever brought you here, I hope it's helped and I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Happy shopping for your Christmas gift and don't forget to come back and check out my Christmas gifts for him and my stocky fillers which will be up in the next couple of weeks and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.